Okay, so here we are in part three of the Gus animation tutorial. And what we want to do is add some facial features, give this guy an expression, and we'll put some buttons on the front. So first thing we'll do is go back to the modeling window. Uh, we're in front view. There's number one on the number pad. Uh, and we'll switch to, let's see, we'll hit the tab button and we'll go into object mode. And we've got Gus pretty much ready to go. Actually, you know what we can do is, yeah, we'll, we'll hit the, uh, the, the EV viewport shader uh, window and set that to rendered. Okay, it gives, it gives us a little bit better view. All right, what we'll do is Shift A, and that brings up the Add menu. And we'll add a mesh and we'll make it a UV sphere. That's pretty big. This is going to be one of his eyes, uh, way too big actually for an eye. What we'll do is right click and we'll Shade Smooth, and we'll scale it down. S key to scale. Now you notice that the the bound the boundary circle is is getting smaller as we hit the S button, but the actual object, the actual sphere itself, is getting smaller quicker. And that's because it's actually disappearing inside of Gus. Uh, and so the sphere that we see, the circle, I should say, that we see, is the actual size. So I'm going to scale that right down to the size we want. And you can see it's fully disappeared. That's about the size I want. I'm going to G key, grab it, and put it in place up here where one of Gus's eyes are going to be. And if we go to side view, three in the number pad, and if we hit, uh, this button, a wireframe button, you can see there's the eye. So what I'll do is G key again, or we could use the guide arrows, and I'll just pull it out until it looks like it's about the right depth. We just want this to look kind of like a dollop of, of chocolate uh, on the front. And I think that's pretty good. That should do it. Uh, so let's go back to the shaded view here so we can actually see what it looks like. And probably we should add some color to that. Let's just get that over with now. So we'll go shading. And shading will add new. And all we're going to do is just give it a base color. We'll just keep this really simple. And again, we want this to look like chocolate. So uh, let's see if we can find a chocolate looking color. Maybe a dark chocolate. I don't know. Uh, I'm not really finding chocolate. No, oh, that's not bad. Close enough. That's kind of similar to the color of the actual gingerbread. But uh, that's okay for now. It doesn't really matter. You can, you can adjust your colors and make them look a little bit better. So we've got an eye. I'm going to go back to uh, modeling window and I'll hit the tab button. And I think that's pretty good. I'm going, to, I'm going to actually remove, no, let's keep those on there. Shift D will duplicate the object and then we'll grab it and we'll bring it over like this. And now we've got two eyes. Shift D again, and that's the nose. And maybe we'll just scale this a little bit smaller. I'll zoom in a bit. Uh, shift and middle mouse lets us actually move the window like that so we can scale or, or uh, scroll right into Gus's face. And I'm going to scale this just a, a little bit more, maybe maybe about like that. Uh, it looks like it needs to be pulled over a little bit. There we go. Shift D once more to duplicate. And this is going to be part of the mouth. And I'm going to scale that in even more. So it's going to be a smaller dollop of chocolate. Shift D again. I'm going to do five of these. Shift D again. And if they're not perfect, that's okay. Remember, when you make a gingerbread person, uh, it's rare that the icing and the toppings uh, are perfect. So that's fine. However you get it, that's good. Okay, we'll go to side view. And from side view, you can see it actually looks okay. I think that's pretty good. We've got the face done. Okay, I'm going to uh, back up a little bit. And now we're going to add some buttons, which, which will actually be like Smarties on the front. So we'll make sure that uh, everything is deselected. A key twice. Uh, and Shift A, we'll add a new object and we'll make it a mesh, a UV sphere once again. Again, it's way too big, but that's okay. We'll scale that, uh, we'll scale that down. S key. Oh, we got a, a bit of an issue here. <clears throat> and we also want this thing to look like a Smarty. So I'm going to actually hit the backslash on the number keypad. Okay, and that isolates this object. Uh, we'll go to top view, which is seven on the number pad. And I'm going to start by actually right clicking and shading this thing smooth. We're not going to see a big difference in this window, but that's okay. Uh, then I'm going to scale it, bring it down quite a bit, but I'm also going to scale it S and then the Y key, scale it in the Y plane. So we get something that kind of looks like a Smarty. Once we've completed working on this object, I'll hit the backslash on the number pad once again, and it's no longer isolated. It's now brought back to our main window. If I hit the three to go to side view, we can see the object is embedded inside. And all we do is pull it forward like this and get it to the point where we roughly where we want it to sit. 
it's just going to be embedded slightly in the gingerbread. Most of it's going to stick out. So there is a little bit of overhang. That, that is what we want. Hit the number one key again. It's a bit too big. It has to scale. That looks good right about there. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, shift D three times or two times, I should say, two more times. So we produce three buttons in total. And there we go. We've got our gingerbread guy. Let's just put some color on these. All we have to do is go to, uh, uh, let's see, we'll go to shading, click new. We've only got the top button selected. We're going to make them all different. We'll just give them base colors. Uh, let's go red for the top one. Uh, there's a nice red color. Select the second one, click new. We'll make this one green. Uh, oh, that's nice right there. And the last one we'll select, click new. And you probably guessed it's going to be blue. Okay, there we go. Uh, if we go back to our modeling window, hit the tab button, uh, and render this thing, hopefully we can see more or less that detail. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's fine for now. You might want to work on the texture of these, make them look a little bit more realistic. You could even have a look at how we did the texture for the gingerbread and see if you can improve on it. But at least for now, we've got uh, a basic rendering done. If you wanted to, you could go image, save as, and we could actually save one of the images uh, and you'd simply give it a name and save it. Uh, that's it for now for the third part of the, uh, of the tutorial. And uh, our gingerbread guy is starting to look like a gingerbread guy. Over and out.